I don't know how to play ukulele. Mary Doodles. It's out of tune. It's not mine. The hat's not mine either. Ah, oh, the hat's gone. Hello, what's up, doodle bugs? My name's Mary, and I was super excited. <laughs> I just finished the painting for Top Secret Project T. Wink. It's not completely complete because we still gotta edit it, but as we all know, the editing part usually goes really fast and has no problems involved, so home free, right? No. Speaking of completion, last week I showed you my sketchbook and I also revealed to you some of the things that I struggle with as an artist. And a lot of you responded with your challenges that you're working with. Like Stella here who wrote, I have a lot of problems with committing to a piece. Like, OMG, organic meatless geese. It would be so cool if dot dot dot. And after a good draft or so, I toss it and move on. That's the face she wrote. I have no finished work ever. How do you deal with sticking to an artwork until completion? That's a good question because I used to be in that place. Not too long ago I was just drawing and painting and not finishing things because you come up with ideas and you just keep going. It happens. The good news is that's where you get your practice in and you're working those little artsy muscles and practicing new things and it's fun. Unfortunately you're not exercising that discipline muscle which is kind of important. Ugh, I guess. Uh, a lot of arts and creative people don't like that discipline and responsibility, but you know what? It kind of comes with the business and it is important. And when you do complete something that you set up to start, you really do have a good feeling of satisfaction and self-worth. For me, it wasn't until I started the time-lapse paintings that I really started getting more committed and disciplined with my painting. Because I'm videotaping the process from beginning to end, I don't want to spend three weeks in this room, so that's plenty of incentive to finish something within an evening. So my advice to you, Stella, and to all the Stellas of the world is step one, commit to one thing. Just one thing. It can be complex, it can be simple. Promise yourself you're going to start this and finish it. If it helps, promise somebody else that you'll do it for them. Draw or paint a picture for your mom or dad, or a friend, or a fictional character from a book, or a person from history that you really admire. Mark Twain, I will make you a drawing, and you will like it. Step two, give yourself a deadline. No one likes that word, no one likes that word. But they're necessary, deadlines are so necessary. It's what gets you going. Give yourself a deadline, write it on your calendar, write it on a note, post it right above your bed so you see it every day. Tell yourself, I'm going to make a jigabli du and I'm going to complete it by subject date. And again, if you're doing this for someone else, maybe tell them when they can expect it. Mark Twain, I'm going to make you a painting! Totally go, Mary! That's not how Mark Twain sounds. That's the worst Mark Twain impression ever. Making a deadline for yourself is going to help solidify that promise to commit to a painting. And it helps you get to step three, which is getting over it. So you finished your painting and it didn't turn out at all as you wanted it. Maybe the composition is just off. You should have sketched more ahead of time. Or the colors are just not the right colors that you want to use. The cat walked on it, there's not supposed to be a paw print on his face. Whatever, it happened, you're finished, move on to the next project and take all that experience that you gained during this one and put it toward the next one. So Stella and all the Stellas out there, I have a suggestion for you to draw. Draw me a picture by next week before I post my next video and tweet it at me or leave a video response or just telepathically send it to me, whatever. Complete this one drawing. Your suggestion is tasty. Do that, get over that hurdle, and move on and continue to make great awesome stuff. And now, the weekly doodle. Oh, the hat's back! Last week when I showed you my sketchbook, I also showed you the doodle of physicist Michio Kaku, and Lolita demanded that I do a full-fledged colored drawing of him. So, bam! I drew you a picture, 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 look at it! Every week I'm going to do a doodle based on the previous week's video. It can be based off of a suggestion or a word or something and you demand what that doodle is. So if you see or hear anything in this video that makes you want that to be a drawing, please leave a suggestion in the comments below. And you can also check me out on Facebook and Twitter and I'm doodles and my main channel I do paintings every week and please subscribe to get these videos every week because that's all you got to live for now. Oh. So mean. You got more to live for than this. You have so much more. Break your computer! I'm gonna drink my oolong tea now. It's picked by monkeys. It's not as good as the urine tea. Okay, bye.